Hello everyone, Nightfox here welcoming you to another Tech Tuesday video. And in this video we're going to be going over how to download and install the new Horizon tool available out now. Uh, now if you remember about six months ago, for those that have been listening to some of my Tech Tuesday videos, uh, I did a full on download how to and install on the old Horizon program as well as how to download and upload Minecraft maps. Uh, now, if that's a video you want to watch and check out, I'm going to leave a link in the description or you can click up in the top right hand corner and it will take you straight to that video. Uh, but today we're going to be talking about how to download and install the new Horizon tool. Uh, so what we're going to do, we're going to go through here, I'm going to go to Google Chrome. Uh, you can use any kind of internet browser, IE or Firefox or anything like that. And we're going to go to www.wemod.com and it's going to take you to the new Horizon webpage. As you can see up at the top, it was formerly Horizon MB, uh, but now it's called WeMod.com. Uh, you're going to go down here to where it says Horizon. You're going to click on it and click on Download Now. Uh, now this should take just a second or so to actually start downloading. If it doesn't download, you can click there. Uh, but you should see maybe this thing come up right here that's asking if you want to download it anyway because it may harm your computer. Let's go ahead and keep it. That's fine. We're going to go ahead and down and open it. Uh, we're going to run it, we're going to install it, and we're going to allow it. <laughs> and the setup just takes just a second, um, and this tool works a lot better than the original one. Uh, they've revamped a couple of things, they've made it a lot faster, a lot more user friendly and stuff like that. Um, and the most important thing, which is a lot of uh, people asking questions on, is it was more compatible with the antivirus software. Now as you can see here, it is pulled up, it is ready to go, it's already recognized my device, uh, my USB flash drive that I have configured for the Xbox. If you don't know how to configure the Xbox flash drive, uh, like I said, you can reference the video uh, that I did about five or six months ago. That link is in the description. Uh, but what we're going to do, I'm going to show you guys, for those that are still having maybe this issue right here where AVG or any other antivirus software is flagging the Horizon tool as a malicious program and is trying to remove it. I'm going to show you a way to go through and add an exception to where your antivirus software will not delete your program. So all you need to do, you need to go to options and advanced settings. Uh, now it may be a little bit different with your AVG antivirus if you have a whole older version or if you have a different software program altogether, uh, but keep in mind what you're going to be looking for is the exceptions area. So we're going to go ahead and click on exceptions and we are going to add an exception and we are going to choose the exception type, which in this case is an application or a file. Uh, so what you need to do here, you need to go ahead and browse to find the file location. If you don't know where that is, an easy thing that you can do is go to the desktop icon that is created when you download Horizon, right click and open file location. When you do this, it'll take you to the exact file path you need to go to to find this program. Uh, up at the top, it tells you the file path. If you click inside it, it actually should shorten it into a readable thing for uh, the file exception. So what I'm going to do, as you can see, this is just the folder. We need the file. So I'm going to go ahead and click inside there do a backslash and then you can see right here where it says horizon.exe okay it's right there you can then copy it and paste it into there and it'll work also if you aren't comfortable with typing in the file path and you're worried you're gonna mess up something you can always right click uh, go to open file location just click in here copy it and paste this in here and then do a browse from there and when it opens it up, just choose the Horizon application, click open, and it'll allow the Horizon.exe program uh, to be ignored. You gotta click here wherever it's moved uh, to a new location or anything like that. That way, AVG will always see this Horizon.exe file and just ignore it completely. Uh, so after that's done, you'll click OK. It should show up right here. You'll click apply and OK as well. You'll have to get this user control, allow it, and that's all there is to it. 
So that means now we are ready to go. We have Horizon downloaded. We can now start moving maps over. We don't have to worry about any antivirus coming in and deleting it whenever it does a scan. So we're good to go. That's all there is to it. So I highly suggest you go ahead and download this Horizon tool, especially if you play Minecraft on the Xbox 360 console or even Xbox One console. Uh, I say this because in the future, in about a couple of weeks, I'm going to be introducing a new series that's going to make you want to have this program. So go ahead and download it. Let me know if you have any issues or questions or anything like that. I'll do my best to help you. Uh, but until next time, stay foxy everybody, and I will see you all later. Bye guys!